what's up guys in this episode we are going to build this awesome portfolio website with html and css and this website is completely mobile responsive and if you see we have this beautiful navbar with some logo and some navigation links and these social icons and if i hover over there you can see that scale scale up animation and we have this beautiful background circle here and we have this h1 text with two different colors and we have this contact button with some hover effect and after this header section we have this beautiful and professional skill section in which we have four different skills and when i hover on your skill we have this beautiful box shadow and after that we have this portfolio section see how professional it is and we have six different images in this and when we hover on these images we have this beautiful hover effect and you can see this background rectangle and this beautiful colors for this and after that we have this section called testimonials and if you hover over these boxes you can see that smooth zoom in effect on these images which is awesome and we have these rating stars with two different colors and after that we have our contact contact section in which we have these quick links and this contact information and and if you see this website is completely responsive so when i click it here we have this beautiful navigation and you can see our website is completely mobile responsive i'm so happy to bring this for you guys for more videos just like this hit that subscribe and like button so without a further ado let's jump into it open your text editor and inside that i have a empty index.html file and a css file and a resources.txt file and in this we have all the colors we are using in this website and links for font or some cdn and and here we have all the images that we are using in this website so i put a link in the description below to download these so now let's open our index.html file and shift 1 and press enter this will create a default html template for us and inside our title let's say my portfolio okay inside our body we have navbar so a nav with a class name of navbar inside our navbar we have a div with a class name of brand and inside that we have a image with a class name of logo and this image will be inside our images logo.png and after our brand we have a div with a class name of nav list inside this we have a ul with some allies let's say this will be home and duplicate this three more times this is for skills and this is services and this is contact and after this nav list we have some social icons inside these social icons we have another ul inside this we have some allies with some font or some icons so to include font or some icons open our resources.txt file and inside this copy this font or some cdn here and after the title i will leave a comment like font of some cdn and paste the font of some cdn here and after this i leave a comment custom css and link our css file here inside our ally a i tag with a class name of font of some class that is fa fa instagram and duplicate this three more times and this is for twitter and this is for github and this is for linkedin okay now let's open this with live server and if you didn't know what is live server go to this tab and here search for live server 
you will find this here and simply install this and after installing right click and open with live server okay this is how our website looks now so now let's go to our css file inside our css file let's make some global stylings i will leave a comment of global stylings so for this margin will be zero and padding will be zero and box sizing border box and if you see after making margin zero padding zero you can see our content goes all the way up to here so there is no margin and padding by default okay now let's include some google fonts here for that open our resources.txt file and inside this copy this i'm using the font called poppins so simply copy this and inside our css file at the top here i will paste it here now let's target our body tag in this font family will be poppins and as a and as a backup let's say arial and after that target our navbar i leave a comment here navbar now let's target that for this width will be 100% and padding 30 pixel and display flex align items center now you can see these items displayed flex and let's make justify content space between you can see and after this inside our navbar target our nav list inside that target our ul and for this display will be flex and for our social icons Said that ul display will be flex okay now inside our nav list ul inside la and inside our social icons ul la margin top and bottom 30 0 pixel and left and right 30 pixel now can see and now let's remove this list list style for our allies so inside our global stylings let's target all our allies and for this list style will be none now you can see there is no list styling and after that let's declare some css variables here so for that inside our root directory let's declare some colors here so inside our resources.txt file we have all the colors we are using so let's say i will say h1 here for this copy this color and paste it here i will open this in new tab so after that our h1 you have to put two dashes here so after our h1 we have our blue color for this copy this color and paste it here and after that we have dark purple for that copy this color and paste it here 
Similarly, we have this gray. Copy this and paste it here. And after that, we have pink. For that, copy this and paste it here. And after that, we have a circle. For this, copy this color. And paste it here. Let's close this. Now, after our ally, let's make this color dark purple. And let's make font size 18 pixel. Now you can see. Okay. Now let's target our logo for this width will be 50 pixel you can see how beautiful it is and for our allies let's make cursor will be pointer okay now this is looking good after that Open our HTML file and after this navbar, I will leave a comment of header. We have a header with a class name of header and inside our header, we have one row with two columns, one column for this content, one column for this image. So now let's make a row here. And inside our row and I will give another class name of hero and inside our row we have two columns I will give another class name of column one to access this particular div so after that we have another the class name of column two and inside our first column we have this content so we have a h1 so a h1 Copy this, paste it here. And cut this front end and put it in a span with a class name of highlight. And after that, we have a P tag. With this text and after that we have a anchor tag with a class name of CTN and this will be contact you can see this here so inside our second column we have this image so for that I will create another div with a class name of hero image and see inside that we have the image which images profile you can see this here so now let's open our CSS file and I will leave a comment of header so our job is to make this row this content will be here and this picture will be at here so to make that let's open our css file target our header i will give a, another class name for our header which is a container i will show you why i name this like this copy this container and inside our global stylings let's make this container have a width of 80% and margin top and bottom 0 pixel let's make top and bottom 60 pixel and left and right auto
okay now you can see our container have a width of 80% and this was aligned in center now let's target our row and for this display will be flex and justify content center and after that target our column for this display will be flex and justify content and justify content center and inside our header target our column one for this flex direction will be column can see and after that target our column 2 for this width will be 100% and for this also width will be 100% and inside our column 2 target our image and it has a maximum width of 80% now let's add some padding for column 1 it has a padding of 30 pixel it's nice and inside our column 1 We have this h1 and p tags so for that just for content space around let's make it space between okay this wasn't looking good so remove this so now we have to make this a little bit larger and we have to highlight this front end so for that inside our global stylings for our highlight i will make a color of blue now you can see this blue color here and for all our h1 tags inside our body we have a font size of 40 pixel and a color of dark blue or maybe h1 and font weight bold let's make it 45 pixel that may be good and inside our header now let's let's add some margin to these paragraphs and these h1s so for that inside our header our h1 add a margin bottom of 30 pixel and inside our body all our p tags have a font size of 16 pixel and a color of gray okay and all our anchor tags has a text decoration of none so there is if we, if we declare global stylings like this there is no need to specify these stylings all over the all over the HTML page. So we are declaring all the p tags and h1 tags at here at once. So there is no need to declare all these tilings inside our specific sections. So now you can see our h1 has no text decoration. And after that, inside our header for our p tag. Let's remove this for our p tag add a margin 
top and bottom 30 pixel and left and right auto now can you see this and after that at our global stylings target our CTN let's make a padding CTN in the sense this contact press button so for that let's make a top and bottom of padding 8 pixel left and right 12 pixel and a background of this dark maybe blue h1 and a color of white smoke let's make it with for pixel and the 150 pixel and add a border radius of 5 pixel and textile line center and let's make with 100 pixel now can see this contact button here now this looking good so inside our header let's decrease some margin here margin top here so for that let's go to our header section and for this margin top let's make 0 pixel now let's add this circle inside our header so for that open our html file and inside our header i will create a div with a class name of circle so now let's copy this class name and inside our css file to this highlight target our circle and for this let's add a width of 500 pixel and a height of 500 pixel let's add a background color of circle and let's make this position absolute and top minus 40 percent and right minus 30 percent now we can see this this box here so for that let's make border radius 50% and I can see this circle here so to move this behind these icons let's make Z index minus 1 now I can see this circle at the background here which is awesome and now let's add some hover effects to this navbar and this contact button so for that for our li on li over let's make font size 20 pixel and font weight bold you can see this hover effect I will make a transform scale of 1.2 this is awesome so let's make it a little more big so for that for our social icons li and hover let's make a transform scale 1.4 you can see this beautiful animation now let's add something for this contact button so for that on ctn let's find our ctn class here for ctn on hover let's make background of white smoke and color of blue h1 
let's make it white and add a border a font pixel solid this h1 color you can see this effect here and make font weight bold this is awesome now you can see some x scrolling here which is due to the circle so we we move the circle minus 40% and minus 30% up and right so for that to remove this scrolling here inside our css file in our global stylings after this body for this body and for our html let's make overflow x hidden you can see there, there is no scrolling here we hidden the overflow of the circle okay for now our header section is completed you can see our navbar here and this beautiful contact button and this profile and with this beautiful text now let's move on to our next section which is our skill section so for this open our html file and after our head, header section and leave a comment of skill section and we have a section with a class name of skills inside that we have a title of skills a title so for that i will say title inside our title we have a h3 of skills let's say of my skills and a h1 of expertise my expertise and after the title we have a grid box inside that we have four boxes so let's make it grid wrapper and inside that we have grid box we have four of those and inside this we have a icon inside a div of icon title we have image which is inside our images skill one and after that we have a h2 of responsive web design and after the title we have paragraph inside that paragraph we have another span element with a class name of highlight inside that we have design first text after that we have some dummy text of lorem 20 okay let's let's duplicate this three more times so this will be skill 2 and this is skill 3 and this is skill 4 you can see all our skills here and i will add a class name of container to the skills to make everything in the center okay for our h3 now css 
color over h3 let's have a color of gray and after our header section i will make a comment of skills and after that target our title inside our skills our title align text text align center so this will align the text in the center and margin bottom 30 pixel maybe 60 pixel and for that grid grid wrapper let's make a display of grid so now we have to make this like this so for that let's say grid template columns one fr and one fr now you can see the magic here wow this is the beauty of css grid and if you see so if you see this is not responsive so to make it responsive let's make something like this inside our css let's remove this to make it responsive let's make repeat auto fit auto fit and min max of 400 pixel comma auto now let's see and add a grid gap of 40 pixel now you can see the magic here now this is completely responsive and if there is if there is a width of 400 pixel this box is silent here and if there is no width of 400 pixel then this box is came down now you can see there is no width of 400 pixel for this so it coming down and it occupying the entire space available at top which we declared here auto fit it takes the entire space that remaining and if there is a minimum width that comes up so now let's target inside our grid let's target this icon title for this add a display flex you can see this and justify content align items center and with 100% justify content space around this is not at all looking good so let's remove this align item center and inside our icon title for our image let's add a margin right of 20 pixel okay now this looking good and inside our icon title target our h4 i believe h2 let's make this font size to 20 pixel and add a color of dark purple maybe Let's make this H1 color. And now for this icon title, margin bottom 20 pixel. And inside our grid box, 
target highlight for this color will be dark purple and font weight bold nothing happened inside our html file let's see highlight oh, we misspelled it remove the t and have a little space here now you can see our design is ready inside our grid wrapper let's make the grid gap 50 pixel okay now this is awesome so for our grid box on hover let's make a box shadow of 0 pixel 0 pixel and 30 pixel of this color with some little opacity let's make it this you can see on hover we have this so let's add some padding to this or grid box target our grid box let's add a padding of 30 pixel now this is awesome and on hover let's add border radius 20 pixel you can see how amazing it is and after that we have we can add some animations to these icons and this text on hover so for now let's leave it like this on hover our every grid box has this beautiful box shadow with some border radius okay now you can see how amazing it look like our header section and scale section is completed now let's move on to next section which is our portfolio section so for this open our html file after this section i will leave a comment of portfolio after that we have a section with a class name of portfolio and a class name of container and inside this we have title of h3 which is portfolio and after that we have a h2 with the text of all creative works with the h1 all creative works and after that i will grab this h1 into a into your div with a class name of let's say ctn title inside that we have this h1 and this discover all projects so for that i will create a h4 with class name of discover all projects and a span with a class name of highlight and inside that span we have this text called github github and after this span we have a i tag with a class name of fa fa arrow 
which is this icon here. So there is no arrow. Let's open font awesome icons to search for this that arrow. Font awesome icons. And inside this, let's look for arrow. We want this arrow, right? So let's copy this class name. Close this. So for this, F A F A arrow right. You can see this arrow here. Okay. Now, after this title, we have a grid with some projects. So for that, I will create a div with a class name of grid wrapper. Inside that, we have some grid boxes. And inside our grid box one, we have a image, which is inside our images, project one. project1.png we have five more like that so this is project 2 this is for project 3 and this is for project 4 and this is for project 5 and finally this is for project 6 now we can see this here these stylings our stylings for this skill section is applying to here we can edit those okay now let's open our css file after this i'll leave a comment of portfolio inside that inside our portfolio target our grid wrapper For this grid template columns repeat out of it I will make min max of 500 pixel and auto this is min max 500 pixel and auto you can see with this error out of it and let's close this packet here. Let's make this inside our skills. Working box have that hover effect. It doesn't have that here. So for this, let's make project four. And let's make this 300 pixel. So that we can have three pictures right here. You can see how awesome it is. And you can you can't believe this is completely responsive. And if I change this, you can see we have two of those. And and at mobile, we have this responsive design. Okay, now let's target our title section. inside our portfolio target our title for this text align left you can see this here 
and inside our portfolio inside our title we have a ctn title for this display will be flex and with 100% we are making all this just to take this text into here so for that and justify content space around you can see this text will be here i will say space between and text and align items center you can see this and now let's add a margin top so for that target our portfolio let's add a margin top of 80 pixel let's make it 150 pixel okay now this is awesome so for this i will change the color inside our ctn title we have a h3 or h4 i believe we have this h4 for that we have this purple color color will be dark purple and inside our ctn title for our highlight we have the color of pink nothing happened let's take a look at this highlight again we misspelled this will be highlight you can see that here and let's move this i this font has some icon into this pen so that we have that color here okay let's look at it how awesome it is and we have too much of gap here so to remove that inside our portfolio this grid paper have a grid gap of 20 pixel now this is awesome and if you see in our design we have this beautiful background overlay so to make that open our html file and inside our portfolio i will add a class name i will add a div with a class name of bz overlay or i will say rectangle background so i will copy that class name and for that i will add a width of 500 pixel and a height of 400 pixel and a background of pink maybe send over resources to text file let's copy this background color this will be light pink so inside our css file let's declare another variable here i would say light pink i will copy this color and i include this color in the in the resources text file i simply copy this and i will include it here so that you guys can access this and for this rectangle background i will add this light pink background 
you can see this rectangle here I will add a width of 600 pixel maybe and I will add a position of absolute and top 0 and right 0 now let's take a look at it how it looks like this rectangle goes up here because we have to add a position related to, to this portfolio section so for that if we add a position related to this with respect to this portfolio this section will be here so now let's add top 0 pixel maybe minus 20 percent and left and right minus 50 percent this will go on all the way up, up there so I will make minus 10 percent here and minus 30 percent here maybe 20 percent and I add a z index of minus 1 and I will say margin left margin right and I will increase this width to 800 pixel and right 20 percent now this may looks good again I am not satisfied with this so I will remove the width to 700 pixel okay now this is awesome now let's add border radius of 20 pixel wow this is awesome you can see how beautiful it is and for this CTN title H4 let's make cursor pointer now we can have a pointer here this is awesome and if you see we have this beautiful hover effect here so for that to make that when we hover here we have we want to have this effect so for that let's open our HTML file after the services inside our portfolio section after this inside this read box after this image we have a class name of hover inside this we have a h3 maybe h4 I believe we have application and after that we have a anchor tag with a class name of highlight inside this we have this this pen right here so simply copy that and paste it inside our anchor tag we, there is no need of this pen so simply remove that so now we can see this text here so now let's open our CSS file up to this I will let's target our hover let's make this position absolute and top 0 left 0 you can see that here so we want this inside this grid box so for that target inside our portfolio target our grid box make this position relative so now this will be here and now let's make this to 10 percent and left 10 percent and after that let's add a width of 60 pin 60 percent and height 60 percent and add a background color of dark purple 
You can see this here. That's maybe this seventy percent. Make it sixty percent. And after this, let's make display flex align items center and justify content center maybe space between space around and after that flex direction column okay now this look good now, now let's make this highlight color inside our hover target our highlight for that make color pink okay i see this github button here and for this color white smoke okay now let's add a border radius of 10 pixel you can see this here so let's make this top 20% and left 20% make this 15% i believe 15% and 15% you can see this will be in the center okay we don't want this always here when we hover it it has to be display so for that i will transform scale x 0 so this will be hidden from here so when we hover it we have to scale x 1 so for that when we hover on our grid box inside our portfolio when we hover on grid box our hover have is transform scale 1 you can see this displaying so you we don't want to appear suddenly like this so let's make a transition inside the hover let's make a transition of transform 0 0.5 seconds is now you can see this smoothly appears this is beautiful okay now let's make those two other images so for that let's open our html file and simply copy this and after every image inside grid box let's paste it here now you can see how beautiful it is okay now our portfolio section is also completed now let's move on to another section which is our testimonial section so for this open our html file and after this section i will leave a comment of testimonials and inside that we have a section with a class name of testimonials inside that we have a container to make everything in the center inside that container we have a title inside that title we have a h3 with the text of craft amazing and after that we have a h1 with this text customer testimonials this TV will be captain after that title we have these testimonial boxes so for that I will create a grid wrapper inside that we have a grid box inside that grid box you can see we have a profile image and these codes so all these content so for that we have a image in which in our images customer one 
and after that we have found us some icon of these codes so let's see what the class name for that code open font or some icons let's look for code okay code right let's use code left simply copy this class name so we have a font or some class name a fa dot code left and after that we have a p tag and this name so for that i will create a p tag with some text lorem 10 and after that we have a h4 with the name john doe and after that we have this so for that i will i will put that in p tag marketing manager and after that we have these rating icons so for this i will put those in a div called rating inside that we have some font awesome icons fa fa star we have five of those you can see how it look like okay we have all the content inside that testimonial box so let's copy this two more times inside our grid paper let's copy this grid box two more times you can see this here change these images for this customer 3 and this is customer 2 you can see this here okay now let's open our css file and install this copy this class name testimonials and inside our css i will leave a comment here of testimonials after that target our testimonial section and add a margin top of 80 pixel maybe 120 pixel and add a background of light pink okay this is awesome and after that let's add a padding top and bottom 60 pixel and left and right 0 pixel this is looking good and inside our testimonials target our grid wrapper for this grid template column repeat out of it and min max it has a minimum width of 300 pixel and a maximum of auto now these three testimonial boxes can be, can be aligned in the row so now let's make this background so inside our testimonials our grid box has the background of white maybe white okay now for this let's add a display flex and flex direction column and align items center and just for content space around you can see and text align center and now we we'll target this profile and add a border radius of 10 pixel this is awesome and add a box shadow 
of 0 pixel, 0 pixel and 30 pixel and this black color. Let's decrease this opacity. You can see this smooth box shadow here for this. And now let's target. Inside our testimonials, inside our grid box, target our image. And for this, add a position relative. And for this image, add position to absolute and top for this top minus 20 pixel and left let's make it like that Or we can do something like this. Let's make margin, margin top, minus 50 pixel, or maybe 60 pixel, and margin bottom, 40 pixel. Now see how how amazing it is. And add a little box shadow, same like this. Let's copy this. Wow, we did something wrong. This is box shadow. You can see the box shadow here. Let's decrease this to little opacity and make this blur 20 pixel, 0 pixel. Now we may have a smooth box shadow for this. Let's make it 10 pixel. Let's see how it looks like. Okay, now this is looking good and copy the same and paste for our image. This is looking weird because we have this box type of image. So let's delete this. You can style however you want. Just play around with the stylings and make it as, as you love. Now let's target inside our grid box. Let's target that. This may be FF coat left. So for this, I will add a font size of 20 pixel, maybe 24 pixel. And I will add a color of gray. Okay, now this is awesome. And I will add margin bottom 20 pixel. And we can add that margin to paragraph. So inside our grid box, let's target our p tag and add a margin. Top and bottom 20 pixel and left and right 0 pixel. Okay, now well, this is awesome. And after that, let's target our H4. Inside our testimonials, our H4 has this color of dark purple and font weight bold. And margin bottom minus 10 pixel so this would be just remove this and let's see how it looks like when we remove the space around okay it's looking fine and after that let's target these ratings so for that, target our rating inside our testimonials, target our rating. 
or this color will be blue this is awesome so let's make it light purple we didn't have that color available yes so let's copy this color simply hover on this i will include this color in the resources.txt file so that you guys can access that i will say light purple so i can simply copy that and paste it here something wrong let's copy this and paste it here and it here now can see this beautiful ratings here so i want to make this to pink color so for that if you believe and if you remember we have this so let's make this rating to rating 1 so just to access this stars so i am just making the class name to rating 1 so inside our testimonials our rating 1 class has the color of pink okay this is awesome you can see so i want to add this hover effect for this images so for that then we hover on this grid box i want to animate that image so for that i will say scale transform scale 1.2 and inside this image i will add a transition for transform 0.5 seconds is so when i hover it nothing happened let's see nothing happens let's see have we made that mistake oh this is transform okay let's see how amazing it is when we hover here this nicely animating so if you want to you can play around with this so let's try this when we hover it i want to tilt this grid box a little bit to x so for that when i hover on that grid box the grid box has a transform rotate rotate x of 10 degree maybe it x 50 degree let's see what happens okay let's make this z so that it rotates in a weird way let's look at it you can play around with this however you want so for now i'm just removing things you can see this beautiful zoom in effect for this images now let's our testimonial section is also completed and if you see this color is red i might think this color is not applying to our h1s 
let's see inside our h1 we have this color of h1 so let's open our root directory okay let's copy this root directory and paste it all the way above here let's see still the same so i want to change this h1 colors so let's hover over it and little bit light color okay that's fine okay after that after this testimonial section we have the final section which is our contact section so for this let's open our html file and if you see this section is completely responsive you can see how beautiful it is this is the power of css grid system you can see this taking the entire width and if there is a no minimum width of 300 pixel it comes down and there is there is no pain to make this website responsive you can make that easily okay now let's open our css html file and after this section we have this contact section we have a section with that class name inside our contact we have a container let's add a class name of container to this we have h3 and a h1 and this here so for that let's make a h3 we'll put this container down below we have a h3 which is a text of contact me okay after that we have a h1 with a class with some text got a project talk to us okay let's talk and after that we have a h3 with a font with a font as a icon let's see what the icon for mail i think envelope yes it is copy this class name right here paste it here and inside that we have hello a email i will say hello at the rate website.com after that h3 we have this quick links so for that i will add a div a class name of quick links and inside that we have our logo image so i will make a div the class name of brand inside that we have our image which is our logo and after that we have a ul with some allies which is for home about maybe skills and after that let's see services 
let's delete this about let's say make it about I'm pretty stubborn about this okay let's see how it look likes this is how beautiful it is let's make it styling okay this applying from this now bar animation when we hover hover here okay now let's open our css file all the way down here let's target our contact inside our contact let's target our container for that we have text align center you can see all the text in the center here and inside that let's target our h3 add a margin top and bottom 40 pixel and left and right 0 pixel okay now this is looking good and for this contact add a margin top of 120 pixel nothing happens Let's see where we made the mistake. Contact. Let's re reload the live server. What just happening? For our contact section, we want this margin top. Okay, inside for this container, I will have a background of blue. We have, we didn't have this light blue here. So I will copy this color. And I paste it right here. And I make it available inside our resources file. I will say light blue. And I paste it here so that you guys can access that. Okay, this is looking good. Now let's add a padding for this. Padding of 60 pixel. Okay. And add a border radius of 20 pixel. Remove this. For this container, add margin top of 80 pixel. And we didn't get in this mail here. Let's take a look at it. We have to add another FA here so that we can get that. Here it is. Okay. Now let's target that icon inside our contact. We have that FA. Let's make it margin right. The T pixel and font size the T pixel and color 
of this blue we have something else here so let's make it like this or we can simply leave as it is okay leave it like that and now let inside our target inside our contact let's target this quick links and that display flex align items center and justify content space between links qsck you can see this here so inside our quick links target our ul this will also have a display of flex and inside our quick links ul our allies have a margin top and bottom 0 pixel and left and right 20 pixel okay now this will be awesome and it has a color of dark purple and font weight bold and add cursor pointer Okay, now this is amazing. And after that, we have a copyright section. So for that, open our HTML file. And after this, I will create a div with a class name of copyright. Inside that copyright, we have a p tag. Inside that p tag, we have this text. Let's copy this and paste it here. Now let's target our copyright section. Make sure we spell it correct. Copyright. So for this, I will give a class name of container to be needed. Okay, let's give a class name of container to this just to make everything in the center okay so inside our copyright our p tag should have a color of dark purple and font weight bold Okay, now this is awesome. Now just look at it. Our complete awesome portfolio website is completed. Let's take a look at it. We have this beautiful navbar. We created this header section and we created this skill section with beautiful hover effects. And this portfolio section with smooth hover effect. And this customer testimonials with this zoom in image effect. And we have this beautiful contact page. And look at it how professional it is. We just build this and now let's make this mobile responsive let's have a look at it how it looks like in mobile and even in mobile it looks nice so let's make it more awesome in the in the mobile section also so for that let's open our CSS file and I will create another CSS file for this so for that I will give you a name of mobile.css and inside our HTML file, let's link it up. After this, mobile.css, make sure this after this style.css so that we can overwrite those. And inside our mobile.css, let's write a media query. media only screen and 
Max width. Of 700 pixel. We style this. So I will open it here. Right here. So that we can see how the, how this look like in mobile and desktop. Okay. Now let's see. So for this, we want these image here. So for that, inside our header, we have our row. So for that, make flex direction column. Now, now let's take a look at it, how it looks like. So this is overwriting the back content. So to remove that, if you remember, we have, we added a height of 100 VH to this header. So that's why this occupying only a height of 100, 100 VH. So let's remove that inside here. Target our header right here. And make sure the height is 100%. So that we can have all the space for this and inside our mobile all our h1s has a font size of 35 pixel so that this will be looks good and let's see if we added some padding to this for this column one for our column one remove that padding to 10 pixel let's see how it looks just make it zero pixel inside our header or column one Okay, and this looks speed. Let's make it 20 pixel. Okay, this is awesome. And after that, inside our column two, align items, center. Nothing happened. So for that image, Let's add a max width of 90%. So, so this will be big here. Okay, so after that, inside our skills, so our grid wrapper have a minimum width of 400 pixel. So let's copy that. copy this let's make it to 300 pixel so that this will be good and this has a padding I believe our grid box has a padding of 30 pixel let's remove that Adding next row to 10 pixel. Okay, now this is awesome. So and for our skill section, make sure the height has 100%. Okay, this is awesome. Now let's target our portfolio section. For our portfolio, the CD and title has a flex direction of column. So this will be awesome. 
and text align left okay let's see what we added here h2 or h3 is it our portfolio section we have this h1 okay let's leave it like that so after that open our css file and in this this is awesome now let's target our contact these are completely responsive we can see our header section is responsive and our skill section is responsive and our portfolio section is also completely responsive now let's make this contact page responsive so for that just go to the contact contact container make sure the padding will be just one to pixel let's make it 10 pixel okay inside that inside that contact container we have h1 let's make the font size to 25 pixel Let's make it to 20 pixel. Okay, now let's target this quick links. And that flex direction will be column. And for our UL LI, it has a margin of zero pixel top and bottom and left and right 5 pixel and inside our quick links our image has a font a width of 50 pixel ok for this container let's add a padding to Padding bottom twenty pixel. Now this is looking good. And after that, let's copy our copyright. For this font size will be sixteen pixel. Maybe 12 pixel, I believe. Okay, now this is looking good. Now you can see our complete website is responsive. We built this awesome website and made it completely responsive. So Okay guys, and now we can see we completely built our website which is a super professional and this was completely mobile responsive. Okay, now if you see our nav bar, it is not at responsive so let's make it responsive. So for that, open our CSS file, open your HTML file and inside our navbar after the social icons we will create a div called toggle button 
and inside that we have a font awesome icon that is bars okay you see that bar here so let's open our CSS file and after this navbar we'll create a comment of toggle sorry but let's target our toggle button inside that that i tag has a font size of 30 pixel and the color of dark purple and after that you can see that toggle button here so now i make i make the position absolute and top 10 pixel and left right 10 pixel you can see this button here so let's make it top and bottom top and right 20 pixel now that is awesome and we don't want to display that in the desktop version so at here display none and inside our mobile.css file let's target that toggle button and make the display as block so that now we can see we don't have that bars here and then the width is less than 700 pixel that that bars can be displayed here so okay now let's target our navbar I will leave a comment here navbar and instead of navbar let's target our brand image for this make position as absolute and it has a top of 20 pixel and left 20 pixel and it has a width of 30 pixel so that this will be displayed here let's make the width to 20 pixel maybe okay now let's target our navbar let's add a background to this which is this light blue color inside our text file let's copy this light blue color paste it here now we can see this background color to that and for our navbar add a height of 100 pH you can see now let's target our ULs inside our navbar target our ul for that flex direction will be column you can see this and for our navbar also flex direction column let's make it nav list so that only our nav list have the flex direction of column this is awesome and now let's target our nav list inside that li have a margin top of 30 pixel now oh, this is looks good so we don't want to appear this all the time so when we click on these bars we have to display this nav bar so to make that possible let's make our navbar display as none so we get re getting rid of that text also so to, to avoid that position related to this now let's take a look at it and open our html file and 
cut this toggle button and paste it after the nav bar okay and we have that here so after that we don't have this margin top for this header so inside our header let's make a margin top of 120 pixel so that we can have this right here so when we click it here we want to display that nav bar so for that we need a little javascript open our html file and inside that before the body tag let's add a script tag inside the script tag that nav bar equal to document dot query selector target that nav bar button toggle button toggle button and for that nav bar dot add event listener this will be click on click we will run a function so let's target this will be toggle button a toggle button toggle button and right here let's let's get our nav bar so for this document dot query selector target our nav bar so when we click on that toggle button we want our nav bar class list dot toggle i will say mobile now so inside our mobile dot css i will say mobile now display flex you can see when i click it here it appears and when i click it again it disappears now you can see our awesome portfolio website is completed and we have this beautiful mobile responsive design and i'm so excited guys to bring this for you and now we completed our complete responsive portfolio website so i'm so happy to bring this for you guys and i see you in the next video